Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a very short video, and here we'll be discussing end chapter question 9.3. Okay, so this is the question. Express the following functions in cosine form. Now all these functions are in sine form, so we have to express these in cosine form. So this is a very important formula. So if you remember this, this will solve all the problems. That is, sine omega t is equal to cosine omega t minus 90. So from sine to cosine, you have to subtract minus, uh, minus 90 to go to cosine. If you don't remember, forget this, whether it is plus or minus, you can use your calculator. Like if you um, write sine 30, you will get this value 0 0.5. Now the question is for cosine, could we add plus, uh, add 90 or uh, subtract 90? So let's try that. So cos 30 minus 90, cos 30 plus 90. And see the answer, which one is matches 0 0.5? That should be the uh, answer. Like if you do this, you will get 0 0.5. If you do this in calculator, it will be minus 0 0.5. That means this formula is not acceptable. Cos 30 minus 90 formula or cos omega t minus 90 formula is acceptable. There is another one that is from a cosine to sine. So cosine to sine, we have to just go opposite. That is instead of subtracting minus 90, we add plus 90. Okay, so let's come to the question. Simple, we just use this formula to go to cosine, we subtract minus 90, and from here you get the answer as cosine omega t minus 60 degree. So that is first part. Part B is slightly uh, different. We have a negative sign here. Let me give you a concept of the negative sign in trigonometric. Like here, we have we know that the, on the right hand side we have positive values. We have left side on the left side we have negative values. So negative five to make it positive. If we add 180 degree, 180 degree we go to positive five. Or if we subtract 180 degree, we go this way then also we'll get answer 5. That means by adding or subtracting 180 degree, we can eliminate the negative sign. So eliminating negative sign, I'm using plus 180 degree, sign remains sign. And now we can convert this into cosine by using this formula, that is by subtracting minus 90 so 9 now it has become cosine this angle already was there minus 90 and so it will be 9 cos 80 plus 90. now you might ask what if you i subtract instead of adding 180 degree so let's see subtracting 180 degree we move into the uh, positive side from negative to positive and now for cosine we'll again use the same formula so subtract minus 90 from here and the value will be minus 270 now you might ask that we have minus 270 here we have plus 90 they are not same but actually they are same and for that we have to remember this thing if we add or subtract 36, 360 degrees with any angle, the value does not change. So let's say we add 360 here. So what will happen? 80 plus 90. So we get to this answer. Or if we subtract minus 360 from here, we get 80 minus 270. So these two are same. Then coming to third one. This again very simple, same technique will follow to remove the negative sign. So we add 180 degree and then uh, 
sine to cosine minus 90 so minus 90 to go into the cosine solving this part we get plus 135 so that is the answer so i hope you have been able to follow this thank you